With Halo Reach coming out tomorrow, I wanted to put together a quick video with some beginner tips for anyone that's new to the Halo series or just new to Halo Reach in general. So let's get right into it. The first thing I want to talk about isn't really a tip. It's just that one of Halo's strong suits has always been the wide variety of things that you can do. Whether that's campaign, firefight, custom games, competitive, big team battle, there's just all sorts of different stuff to do. So what I want to tell you guys is that if you're frustrated with one mode, rather than continuing to be frustrated, you can always just go and try out one of the other modes to kind of get a break from whatever you're currently playing. Alright, so with that out of the way, now let's actually get into the tips. So number one is to know the different playlist settings. So I'm going to link in the description a video from BBK Dragoon that kind of goes over the exact changes that the TU update did. But basically, in Halo Reach, the Master Chief Collection version, there's going to be three different playlist settings for the most part. There's Vanilla, which is kind of the out-of-the-box settings, and that's going to be in Invasion. And then there's the TU settings, which is going to be in most of the playlists. And then there's going to be the Hardcore settings, which is obviously going to be in the Hardcore settings. So the Vanilla settings are just, you know, out-of-your-box Halo Reach. The TU settings are the title update settings. Those came out a couple years after Halo Reach was already out. And those change the way that Bloom works and a couple other things. And that's where I'm going to link that video from BBK Dragoon so you can get all the details. And then lastly, the hardcore settings. The main differences in that is that it's no Bloom, no Sprint, and also no Radar. So what you're going to want to do is make sure you know what playlist you're playing in. And you're going to have to adjust your playstyle accordingly. Because things that work in one playlist won't work in the other with the different settings. So with that in mind, the second tip is that Radar is your friend. If you're playing in a playlist that does have Radar, Radar is one of the biggest helps that you can have in the Halo franchise. It's extremely useful and you just need to pay attention to it and it'll basically tell you when anyone's around you as long as they're not crouch walking. And so it's a huge help and it's something that I feel a lot of players that aren't used to the Halo franchise kind of just ignore. And so the third tip is going to be for the Vanilla and the TU playlists. And that is going to be to pace your shots with Bloom or... If you're really good at just praying to the RNG gods, just do that. Basically, as you shoot the DMR or any of the other precision weapons, they have bloom. The more you shoot them, the bigger the ridicule gets and the larger the spread of where the bullet can go gets. So basically, if you want your shots to be accurate at the longer ranges, you have to make sure you pace your shots and not just spam them as fast as you can. However, like I said, if you're playing in the hardcore playlist, spam away because there's no bloom. All right. So number four is that armor lock is annoying as shit. It's not really a tip, but <laughs> basically armor lock's stupid and a lot of people hated it when Halo Reach came out and you're going to see a lot of people still kind of get annoyed by it and basically just be aware of it and learn how to play around it. If you're going to use it, it's pretty good for baiting people. You can bait someone into a fight armor lock and you can get your teammates to help you. However, you cannot just use armor lock as a get out of jail free card. If you push too far up and you have to armor lock to not die, if your teammates aren't there to help you, you're still going to die. So make sure if you're playing against armor lock, you kind of know how to play around it and make sure that if you're playing with armor lock that you know, while it can be useful to kind of get your teammates to back you up, they do have to be in the position to do that. You can't just use it and get a free get out of jail free card. So the fifth tip is going to be sprint and sprint is probably the best overall Spartan ability just due to the flexibility, it lets you get around the map quicker, get from point A to point B. And it's also very useful for disengaging from fights because unlike armor lock, when you use it, you're not just stuck in one spot waiting for your armor lock to end and then they just shoot you. With sprint, you start getting shot. If you need to get out of there, you sprint out of there. And if they don't have sprint, they can't keep up with you. So sprint's probably the best armor ability that you can use just due to the flexibility. However, obviously, you're not going to be able to use this in the hardcore playlist because that's no bloom, no sprint. The hardcore playlist also doesn't have the other Spartan abilities, just to be clear. All right, so the sixth tip is that the precision weapons are king in Halo. The DMR is your bread and butter. Although the DMR can be frustrating with Bloom, this is going to be your best weapon most of the time. Obviously, power weapons are going to be a little bit stronger, but you have to pick up the power weapons off the map. Off spawn, the DMR is going to be your best friend, unless they're like right on top of you, then you pull out an assault rifle. But the DMR is going to be your best mid to long range weapon, as it allows you to take people out across the map and do extra headshot damage that the assault rifle cannot really do. The seventh tip is that nades are a huge part of Halo. Obviously, in any first-person shooter you play, people spam grenades all over the map. If you ever played Call of Duty, people chuck those babies all over and you'll randomly die to nades. However, in Halo, one big difference is that the grenades do not kill in one hit. What they will do, though, is they'll take off your shields. So one of the biggest strategies in Halo is to set up a nade so that you nade them, it hits them, right? Their shields are gone and you pop them one shot in the head with the DMR, boom, and they're dead. Or you can hit them with the nade and then just punch them because their shields are off and they're dead. 
so it's very useful for getting their shields off and then just quickly killing them. You can use this strategy to set up like double or triple kills if a team's pushing around a corner and you know, especially if you're in one of those playlists with radar, or if you're playing in hardcore and you have good information. You set up that nade, they run right onto it, now all their shields are gone and you can just get two or three kills with just two to three headshots. And if you didn't throw the nade there, you're gonna have to unload a ton of bullets and they're probably gonna kill you. All right, the number eight tip is just to get familiar with what weapons are good against what. So for example, the plasma weapons in the game are really good against shields, while the human weapons are going to be good versus your HP. So you can combo this with things like the plasma pistol with the DMR to wreck people, and they call this the noob combo. But basically what you do is you charge up the plasma pistol, you shoot them, it takes off their entire shield, and then you pop them in the head with the DMR for a one-shot kill. It's pretty basic, but the other covenant weapons also are very good against the shields, so make sure if you have both that you're using the covenant weapons to take off shields, and the human weapons to finish people off once their shields are gone. Alright, the ninth tip is going to be learning maps and weapon spawns. So while learning the maps in any first person shooter is huge, obviously in Halo it's even more important, just like it is in other arena shooters. So not only are you learning the layout of the map, and kind of learning what choke points you need to hold, and what portions of the map are better to hold, you also need to learn all the weapon spawns. Because with the power weapons spawning on the map, you want to obviously make sure that you know where they spawn so that you can be there and fight over those weapons along with learning those spawn timers so that you can be there as those weapons are coming back. Being able to constantly pick up the power weapons like the rocket launcher or the sniper will make a huge difference in the game, even if your aim with the DMR might not be as good as one of your opponents, but if you always have the rockets or the sniper it's not going to matter because you can just kill them anyways. Alright, and so the last tip I'm going to give you guys, this is number 10, it's going to be don't be afraid to disengage from a fight. Not dying is always better than standing your ground and just giving up free kills, and due to the higher time to kill in Halo, this is something that you can more easily do. And you can use a variety of the Spartan abilities, kind of like we talked about earlier, to do this. Whether it's sprint to run away, whether it's jetpack to go up to a higher spot on the map that your opponent can't get to because they don't have a jetpack, so those are just basically 10 quick and dirty beginner tips for anyone that's never played the Halo franchise before or if you never played Halo Reach back in the day. I hope these tips can kind of help you guys out and I'd love to read any other beginner tips that you guys have in the comments. If you enjoyed this video like always feel free to sub to the channel or like the video as those both help me out a ton. But besides that you can find me on Twitter, Discord, Twitch and there's also a Reddit. I'll link all that stuff in the description below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.